Hey guys, ooh, it's really sunny. Hey everyone, so I thought I would check in with you guys because I am just waiting for my brother to get here to take me to the airport. And I thought maybe I would show you like an outfit of the day maybe a little bit. It's being called right now. Anyway, uh, let me do this really quickly. I feel like when people travel, there's like two versions. There's people who get really dressed up and there's people who dress for comfort. I, first of all, it's summertime, I live in either a maxi dress or harem pants. So today I have like harem pants on, I have this like very drapey top on. Everything is very drapey and this is a kind of a jacket that has like a huge collar. And I don't know what makeup I have on. Ooh, Tom Ford. I've been loving the Tom Ford Perfecting Traceless Foundation thing in a bottle. And what else do I, can I show you? Earrings, these are just hoop earrings from Forever 21. And then I have some rings on on both sides of my hands and that is the full outfit so I'm just gonna thought I'd check in with you guys my baggage is packed did I tell you guys where I'm going Atlanta so yeah either I'll check in with you guys at the airport or I will check in with you when I get to Atlanta so it is Tuesday May 26th and uh, I sound awesome I I don't know I look okay hair is not done it's like in slight disarray uh, I have two mounts don't think I'm being dangerous and you guys did not like me and I'm wearing a seatbelt and I get it and I know this is like a horrible excuse but like it literally is like a three three minute drive to work which is not I'm not saying that's why I shouldn't wear a seatbelt I should wear a seatbelt so as we see now um, I'm sorry I'm like so tired I got in I didn't vlog you guys are basically gonna see the before I went to the airport and then you're gonna see this I vlogged I didn't vlog at all I took the, the camera into the fitting room a whole bunch of times because we did a lot of shopping but it was just like stupid footage so I was like I'm not gonna do that so what we did basically <laughs> eating sleeping well okay let's get in, let's go in order at least eating shopping going out coming home late waking up late eating shopping a repeat basically that's what we did the whole time more or less and I it was a really good time obviously because it sound like it also my flight I was supposed to leave at 7 30 and instead um, how about at 10 o'clock at night I'm still grounded I'm in the plane but I'm grounded and I get home at like midnight and that was not the plan like I had this perfectly planned out like I would get home at like 9 30 and I'd have time to like wind down and like unpack but no instead at, I get to the airport and my friend was like it's gonna be like you know it's gonna take a long time instead it only took me 10 minutes to like, get through like the bag drop line because I'd already checked in and like paid for my baggage um, before I got there and I was spent like probably less than a minute at the counter so first the plane was delayed I didn't have no idea why and then eventually they're like okay so of the two pilots one of them is late coming in from another flight so okay a delay 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 like six or seven delays and finally he arrives and we get to board the plane but I feel like I'm just sitting in the plane for like a really really long time like so by 10 o'clock I'm still like grounded and I want to say somewhere between 10 and 10.30, we actually start to, we must have like taken off at some point because I kept dozing off and I was like telling the guy next to me because I unfortunately had to sit in the middle seat, which I guess is better me than like some big dude. I always think it's really funny when like it's like three dudes stacked on top of each other uh, on like a, like a smaller flight. I don't know. Ha ha ha. Anyway. I was like, if at any point in time I like end up on you, knock me off, like push me back to my side before I like drool on you because that's not cute either. Uh, so we finally take off and then the pilot explains that there was a storm in Knoxville that they were kind of waiting to like dissipate. But it's kind of like, can you update me sooner so I kind of know what's going on? It's just like, we are just there. I felt like I was at the airport by 5.30, 5.45-ish and I... By 10, I'm still on a plane, haven't gone anywhere, but anyway, so that was that. But other than that, the whole trip went perfect. So now, obviously, I am on my way to work. I'll be there in like 30 seconds, but I'm dragging a little. Today's going to be a little rough, I think. Hey guys, okay, so I have a mount here. I'm kind of excited about it. I think it looks, or it's like working pretty good. I'll list the brand down below because it has a really heavy base 
that you can suction it to or you can take the suction and mount it on your windshield so I really like kind of love this idea because my dashboard is not flat so I knew I wouldn't be able to like suction anything to the dashboard but the idea of this thing is so awesome I love it okay so right now is some errand running. I need to drop off some stuff at the post office. We have some blog sale orders as well as some returns and then I have to drop stuff at UPS and then I have to pick up a prescription from CVS and uh, return two mascaras. So this is what the manga rocks looks like and that one's very okay. So that was like a good mascara. It's kind of like decent as like a starter, like your first like coating, but the problem with it was I didn't really like that it flaked during the day. The second mascara I'm returning is the Maybelline Volume Express Colossal Chaos Chaotic Lash. It looks like this. It's in this packaging. I can't, there's too much sun, I can't really see. Okay, so this one was actually okay. It's a drier formula for sure, but the wand is extremely big and bulky and even though I think it's separated really pretty it can give you really kind of fluttery lashes I think I don't know I think sometimes people are like well those clump my lashes and some people are like oh well that separated my lashes I really think it depends on the density of your lashes to begin with I don't have very many I mean I have like you know not I'm not full of lashes so I feel like for me it really gave a pretty fluttery look but the the one was just too bulky for me and uh the bristles were kind of pinchy. Not that any bristles are like soft and fluttery on your lashes, but these just didn't really work out for me. So those are going back, uh, like I said, to CVS and I have a prescription. What else can I talk to you guys about? My goal for June, actually, I feel like I should announce it because if I announce it, then I'll have to like do it. I'll like stick to it. It's more likely I stick to it. But I really plan on doing like a no buy for June, and not just like a no buy for like makeup like full on no buy no clothing no makeup no anything uh, the only thing I can buy is food alcohol and uh, batteries for my vibrator so we'll see how this goes I, I feel like I should announce it that way like every day in June we can do like a checkup of, of the things I've bought and uh, it'll keep me on track so I'm excited for that Ooh, okay so I'm at UPS now, so I'm gonna go. So yesterday, I was gonna continue vlogging more stuff, like, ooh, uh, railroad tracks. Um, I was gonna show you guys the makeup I took with me to Atlanta, and then I got home and passed out because I'm old and I clearly can't have like an extended weekend wherein I drink and go out and then function properly. So there's that. Uh, so, also this morning, I was in, for going to bed so early, here's the thing, I went to bed super, super early, and then I woke up at 6, and I was like super proud of myself, because usually I wake up at like 6.45, and then I went back to bed, and then, which was stupid, because then by 7.15 I was already, like, then I got up. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? Well, right now, we have Echo right here, we are... <laughs> <laughs> that looked like abuse, <laughs> but uh, it wasn't. He is getting groomed today, so we're taking him groomed. I think he can sense it because he's a little worked up, but, um, shh, echo one. Uh, I washed my hair uh, last night, and um, so it's looking less cute today. I always feel like the day after I wash my hair, it's kind of fluffy and dry and not cute. Oh, hi, 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 okay, okay, shh. So the roads are like a little bumpy and I hope that it's not like shaking the camera too much. I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe it is. I hope. Ugh. I feel like I'm still test vlogging and actually I'm looking at like another vlogging camera now which is bad. I mean it's good that I want to like find something that works really well. I mean I love this camera. I just feel like Sometimes it says I keep it turns off on me when I like when I initially turn it on and I turn it press the record button I get like a card error thing so I don't know if I need to format my SD card for this but I don't think so in that I have been uploading and like you know pulling footage from it and uploading editing and everything be, but that's probably not the reason at all but but every time I press record like the first time I press record it turns my camera off or it does turn it off but I get an error 
which I go, okay, sit, sit, which um, then I just have to turn the camera back off and then turn it back on again and it's fine, but I feel like, is this something I need to pay more attention to or like look into more? I have a really cute outfit on today. I'm gonna see if I can do like an outfit of the day. I have like these like Zara kind of coated jeans on, but they're like a tan color and they're like super cute, so. Also, I kind of like the way this mount is because I feel like it's not so obvious that it's like a camera. It looks more like a GPS, which is good. Uh, the other camera I'm looking at is a little larger and it might actually look like a camera. Okay, so I'm gonna get some McDonald's today and I usually don't do any fast food. Okay, so I usually don't have fast food or like I try to do like either no carb or low carb Monday through Friday. Ooh, railroad. Monday through Friday around lunch. Friday at lunch is like the weekend. Like that's when I just eat like pizza, burgers, fries, whatever. So getting McDonald's today because because I was away for the weekend I really didn't go and do groceries or anything so we have these coupons buy one get one free at McDonald's so we've got the Big Mac quarter pounder with cheese or quarter pounder deluxe Ooh, I didn't know that mm, that sounds good um, 10 piece nuggets or this new sirloin third burger and you get free fries and a drink if you get that so the other ones are buy one get one free I don't know which one I'm gonna get yet I'm sure this is like extremely interesting to you. Uh, so I was waiting for the groomers to call me so I could pick up Echo, but that was like already over like two hours ago that I dropped him, and usually it goes faster than that. So I was like, okay, you know, when I go pick up Echo, I will go get lunch, but they haven't called yet, so I'm just gonna get lunch first. So I just picked up Echo, come here! <laughs> and he's been groomed and he's real real good. Now so what did I can I share with you? So I ended up getting the with the buy one get one coupon, I ended up getting the <laughs> quarter pounder with cheese. I don't think I've ever had that before actually. And I'm not really missing out because it was like, ooh, hold on, dip. Ooh, so so satisfying. Like so so as in like so so. So I'm thinking next time, you know I should have gotten the, the new sirloin burgers. They had like one with like bacon and cheese and they had one with, um, that was like steakhouse style with like onions and mushrooms and I really should have just done that. Some more of my flavor, flavor profile. I'm never gonna get out of here. Oh, it's okay, I go on. I feel like I haven't done anything today. Like I feel like I've dropped him off and then I went to go get lunch and then I went to go pick him up and now the day is like over. I think me and my mom are gonna go look for shoes today. She has like a wedding this weekend and um, I just told her to just have it ready. Like every time she needs to get ready for an event or like a dinner or something, she's always like kind of picking, pulling together like stuff like she has lots of jewelry and she has dresses but like shoes and like a clutch or something are always an issue I'm like you have to always have like you know like a black clutch and a black shoe and then depending on what metal you do more like I always have black shoes and a black clutch and I have a lot of gold shoes and gold clutches because those are like my go-to's but I feel like she just might need to have that. I don't know why we never got on that probably because lately I feel like summertime there's a lot more like events and dinners and things so that's what happens there I go on. hi cutie Hi, cutie pie. Hi. Oh. He's so fluffy.
Okay, go out in Jello. Come on. Come here. Stop. Hey, you stop. No. Walk on the bend. Go. Sometimes I speak to him in Chinese because, you know, he's bilingual like that. Echo, go lie. Echo! Echo! Come on, come on! Come on! Okay, so it is Friday. I feel like this week's vlogs are going to be really boring because they're all me in the car. And, uh... But I mean, I guess Monday wasn't a, a work day. And then... Today... Yesterday, you saw that was like a big catastrophe. I don't think I accomplished anything at work yesterday. I mean, I did, but then... So today, I'm going to try and do a full day of work. I should admit, I don't have to say try. I'm not going anywhere today. There's nothing to do. I might go out and go grab a lunch. But that's it. So, this has just been kind of a rough week. I think for like, you know, the trickle down from the weekend, and like yesterday, at like five in the, uh, this morning at five in the morning, I definitely woke up <laughs> with my period. That was awesome. It's like, I, I, I wake up and I'm like, I'm dying. I am, I'm, that's what it felt like. And then, you know, sometimes it's like rougher than usual and you're not really sure why, but it was a little quite painful. And then like, I woke up and I like popped a couple a leave, I went back to bed and then I don't know if it really made that big of a difference. I think it did obviously because I was able to fall back asleep, but, uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I wasn't dying. I was just being a woman, you, you know, going through this like thing where you, lead out every month and survive so yeah i'd like to see men try that that's you try it guys <laughs> um so now like i said we are going to work i say we because i goes here fly come here so i just kept him yesterday after work and so he'll be with me today um yeah so maybe i don't know i'll check in with you guys around lunchtime if I get something exciting for lunch, even if I don't. You guys are stuck. <laughs> so I figure while I have you guys here, I might as well just do like an outfit of the day today. Oh, maybe this is better. Ooh, I'm missing a little, what do you call it, board up there? Anyway, so the glasses are, you've seen before, these are like the Dubai glasses. And jeans are... I think these are Forever 21. I think they were like a gray color. Hold on, can I show you better? I think they were a gray color and I dyed them black. So they're like a darker gray. And the boots are Forever 21 also. They are a bit of a wedge. Actually, not a bit. They're super wedgy. <laughs> super wedgy. Okay, um, this top I think is also Forever 21 from like, it has to be like five, six years ago. But I see a lot of these kind of crochet y tops. And. Hold on. Ah, there we go. That's better. And the inside is just like a black tank. The goal for getting dressed today was definitely how to not wear a bra <laughs> because it's not that. It's not one of those days where I feel like feeling that. So super casual, but really, really comfy. I hope this is showing up nicely because then we can start doing these outfits of the days. Or maybe I need to um, put this mirror in a different spot. But I think that's that. So today, obviously, there's, like, no jewelry. There's no nothing. It's just, like, me and, like, sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Let's see if we can show you my makeup. So we're basically looking really gross and sweaty, even though it's, like, <laughs> morning. But what did I do on the eyes today? I think I did, like, an elf shadow. I don't know how to do this because I keep looking at the viewfinder. But um, an elf shadow. I think it's like chocolate dreams and then I put a lot of like NARS, is it Psycorax, that black kind of all over. The brows are two NYX eyebrow pencils, ash brown and black. I have Tom Ford in number five on, as foundation with Giorgio Armani, the Maestro Eraser as the concealer and um, those are sunglass marks. I have Smashbox. I think it's deep bronze, whatever. There's like two of their bronzers, and I just have like the darker one on. The lips are 
the NYX Skin Tone Gloss, and I think I'll, I'll just like list everything below or I'll have it like marked off on the side. I think when in my last vlog someone was asking like what lip gloss I was wearing and I realized that in the course of like, you know, a vlog, like if I vlog weekly or whatever, that I should probably just like list everything so that you know, because I feel like most of the times if I'm in the car I'll have sunglasses on and then I'll forget. So all you'll really see is my lip gloss. So I'll probably like start listing like what I'm wearing if I remember in the, either in like the screen or down below. Okay. I need to, I need to work. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go get lunch and I realized I forgot to share with you guys my bag for my outfit of the day and it's still this Leffler Randall bucket bag and I've been really loving it ever since like the weather kind of warmed up a little and I've been able to use it. I love it. Um, so I guess we're just gonna go to the car and ooh. Mm, that's not cute. And I know my gold sunglasses have changed, but this is my method, or my lack of method, is whatever is on the kitchen counter or whatever is like on my desk, that's like the pair I grab, and uh, that's how we do it. So let's go. I think we're going to try and be kind of healthy today since I totally was like all McDonald's two quarter pounders of cheese yesterday. So I think we're going to do a salad. So we'll see what we do. <laughs> It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Hi, every time we're in the car, if we slow down, he freaks out a little, and I also feel like he thinks that I'm always dropping him like at the doctor or to be groomed or something. He's like a little anxious. So yesterday when I took him to the groomers, I go sit. They were saying that I should bring him in for daycare once a like once a week or twice a week because it would like help him like be acclimated to um, being around people and dogs and stuff. He just, I don't know, like we were gonna have him like tr like take him for like official training or whatever and they're just like, no, it's just like a waste of money because he's like eight years old. So it really wouldn't even make any sense. Thank you. Thank you for choosing my piece, how can I help you? Hi, can I get the half size apple pecan chicken salad? Would you like the blue cheese crumbles on that? Uh, no. And the uh, sour cream and chive potato. Can I get you anything else? Uh, nope. Five fifty. Thank you. Thank you. Totally like have to move him out of the way otherwise he will totally bark and bark and bark hey echo sit down echo oh cutie pie yeah okay 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 uh, uh, uh. hi 550 ah, ah. Oh, shh. hey 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 okay 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 shh, shh. <laughs> hey 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 echo no. Do you want a dog treat for your dog? Oh. Ooh, yeah. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Huh? Hey. Is this our time? We have one more bag. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Now, want a treat? Come here. Want a treat? Mmm. Yeah. He's a good boy. I go, want a treat? Come here. Yeah. No? No? You want a treat? You want a treat? You're all set. Ah! Thank you. Ah! Go watch. Every time. Every time. We can't. Although, have you guys done this before? I've never been to a, like, a drive-up window where they give you like a dog treat. That's like so cute. Do they give like lollipops to kids or something? That is like... That's pretty genius. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I'm like talking. I'm like looking at the traffic to make sure. That is so cute. I love this idea. Except my dog is impervious to treats. Like you cannot train him with rewards. Like it just doesn't work. So when I was ordering, the line was really long for Wendy's. And you know, you get bored. So you start people watching. I mean, you can only fumble in your purse and check your phone so many times. So like maybe two or three cars in front of me, the guy was ordering. And I swear. 
where he looked like exactly like a Ken doll, like in a completely asexual way. Like his hair was like perfectly gelled. He's like super tan, and he had, like sunglasses on, and just like like just like his mannerisms just seemed so like precise. And uh, what else? His teeth. I didn't see his teeth, but if they were like perfectly like white and straight, I would have been like so. I, he's one of those people like if you would have saw him like in person, you would just well, in person. Obviously, it was in person, but like you would just like stare because you're like I don't. Wow. <laughs> you know what I also noticed when I order food or when I talk about food, I feel like my voice goes like a little more high pitched. Like not that my voice is like can ever really get that high pitched, but like I really feel like when I was ordering food, I think because I get excited, so my voice kind of goes up with glee. <laughs> and uh, even like right now, I feel like I'm talking about food. My voice has like gone up a little bit. Uh, this is really weird. There's like. 50 people out here like walking along I don't really know what's going on actually huh it's like so cute it's like it's like all senior seniors with like fanny packs and there's so much like whatever pollen floating around right now it's just been so bad okay done in the kitchen I am now going to take you guys into my bedroom and we will see my makeup that I have not unpacked yet um see it's still in its like Sonia Kashuk travel bag glory. I'm gonna turn the lights on so I can show you guys everything. Ooh, that's so much better. Okay. So everything is in this like Sonia Kashuk holder. Let me see if I can. There we go. So it looks like this. Pretty cute. Looks like that. I picked up another one from her. It's like this summer she came out with like a palm tree print one or a palm, yeah, a palm leaf print one. So on this side I have all my, what do you call it? On this side I have all the face stuff. This is probably not all going to show up, but I'm just going to slowly show it to you anyway. Um, actually some of the stuff is hanging out over here. I took my Scandinavia, uh, what do you call it? Setting sprays and primer sprays. And I used Tom Ford... Traceless Perfecting Foundation the whole time I was there, and I've been using it a lot lately. This is in the shade 5, which is actually a little dark on me, but it's like perfect for summer, and this foundation is so amazing. I love it, love it, love it. It's the what I wish, okay, I picked up the By Terry, uh, I can't remember the name of it, the liquid foundation, and this is what I have thought and hoped the By Terry would be, but this is super amazing. What do I have? I have the Georgia Armani Maestro Eraser Concealer that I use for my under eyes. This is in shade 4. It's not particularly brightening, but it looks really beautiful on the under eyes in terms of the texture and or, I guess, lack of texture it creates. A little bottle of MAC Fix Plus. I don't use this necessarily to, like, finish my makeup. I use it kind of almost as a primer just to give it a little bit more moisture, which probably wasn't necessary in Atlanta because it was definitely hot. Kevin O'Quant Sculpting Powder in Medium. When I was there, my friend had this amazing bronzer from, what do you call it, from Dior? Yes, it was a nude, one of the Dior nude bronzers, I think in Amber Tan 07 or Amber 07. If you have it, find it, use it as your contour. And she's like NC45-ish, and she was using that, and it was perfect. I have two ColourPop highlighters. This is like a full size. This is in Butterfly Beach. This is super gorgeous. Like, oh. And then this one is like a baby one in Wisp. This is like before the highlighters were like officially launched. This is super crazy gorgeous. And I had put in an order and this was like a freebie. Oh my god, so beautiful. I have the Cover FX Blemish Treatment Primer. I love this stuff. This is obviously like a smaller like trial size that cover effects had sent me to kind of review kind of review i hate using the word kind of when it's like for real anyway i love this stuff because you can use it to treat treat your blemishes under your makeup i took the makeup forever pro bronze fusion this one's in the shade 30m love this it makes it has like a kind of reddish undertone which i really like when i'm tan <laughs> I took the Tom Ford bronzer. Ooh, look at all that light. The Tom Ford bronzer in Terra. This is super beautiful. I had purchased the gold dust one during this summer. Oh, this is getting like out of the way. Ugh, okay. Ooh, that's like so much better. Okay. I had purchased the gold, or yeah, gold dust for 
summer for the summer release this year and it's okay let me pull it out for you this is a oh, beautiful packaging right but this is gold dust and I was like do I love it or not and I really wasn't gonna get it because I'm like Ugh, I'm not really sure if I like it but Monsieur Alex, if you guys watch him, he, after reviewing it, really talked me into it because I knew how much he loved Tara. And he was like, no, Gold Dust is still like definitely doable. So this is Tara. Uh, this is a Gold Dust. I'm actually super bummed because I was going to go to Generation Beauty. I don't know when this vlog is going to be uploaded, but I was going to go and I was going to meet up with him because he's fantastic. If you guys aren't subscribed to him or watch him or anything, you should because not only is he, you know, a hottie, but he's also, he knows makeup, like especially, not especially, just specifically high-end to luxury brands. And I just think I his opinion and his like, recommendations for things I love if you ever there's just one video that I really like of his he did like a contouring video with the Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder I really like that video and I also like his approach to makeup which is you know not super sculpted like super drawn out super filled in like everything was like like almost presenting like the best version of yourself which I love which is actually what makeup should be anyway total tangent I'm watching like this it says like six minutes or something my Chanel bronzer, this stuff is the best. I mean, if you, they call it a face base and that's really, you know, like a makeup bronzing base and I love it. It's just such a beautiful color. I think a lot of people might consider it orange, but if you don't use it as a bronzer, you can definitely use it just to warm up your face, just to give your color a little bit of warmth before going in with an actual bronzer with more of a brown tone. And then I have my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This stuff is awesome. Okay, so there's the Hourglass Diffuse Light Powder. I use this to set my makeup. And then I have, oh my god, this is amazing, guys. The Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Do you see how messy that is? It's beautiful. Like, yes. Yes, people. I don't want to say girls because I'm sure you boys would love this also. And then I have the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer, Souffle, and Papaya Topaz. I've been using this as my blush with the e.l.f. stippling brush. Super pretty. Oh my god, my nails are gross. But it's Milani Bronze, in case you're wondering what the shade is. I, it's not bronze at all as, a, as an actual color, but it goes great with kind of like tan skin. Beauty Blender. I hope my makeup desk isn't dirty. I feel like, is it dirty? If Can you see? It's kind of dirty. <laughs> Um, what else do we have for, for, uh, I'm trying to see what else we have for, okay, I have my eye base, this is the Milani eye base, I have eyelash glue, I have a pencil sharpener, this glue is by Kiss, this pencil sharpener is by Urban Decay, I have a set of lashes, these are the sultry lashes in, from Kiss that I did not use at all while I was there. Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Copper, which is like a pretty base shade. I'm so excited. I feel like I can film like just like a swatch video maybe with the, in this position. I think we might do that. This is like one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. Constant Toast by Maybelline. I use this all over the lid. I use it as a crease color on the lower lash line. I use this everywhere. It is a fantastic color that is like a one shadow and done look. Well, not done because I always use black in like the outer V or whatever, but the Vizart, Viziart, oh my god, my friend told me how to pronounce it and I'm butchering it, but this is a fantastic palette. Like, I, I mean, if you look at the eyeshadows I took, I basically took this palette and this because I can't stop using this. And then just for fun, I brought, like for nighttime, evening time events, I brought the ColourPop eyeshadow in Millionaire. Oh my gosh. Crazy, guys. I don't even know or I don't even think you guys know how crazy beautiful this shadow is. It has so much dimension. It has like pinky, peachy, gold shimmers in it. Aha, so beautiful. Um, this is, ooh, this I'm not gonna show you. This will be like in my Let's Get Jet Set Atlanta haul because it's something I bought while I was there. I have the Brow Stylist Plumper from L'Oreal, which I used on and off. It wasn't like that frequently that I used it, but 
It's good. I like it. My two favorite mascaras. Maybelline Lash Sensational and Maybelline Cat Eyes. This was my top lash mascara, bottom lash mascara. I also use this sometimes to finish off the top lashes also. Two brow pencils from NYX, Ash Brown and Black. Lip liner from Marc Jacobs in Nudist. Lip gloss from NYX in Skin Tone. NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. A Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in Brown Out. Oh, I love this on the waterline. It's like shimmery and brown and beautiful, but kind of like leaves kind of like a smoky effect instead of like super drawn in. You, does this make any sense to you? I'm like typing on an imaginary keyboard. Okay, I co visualize in Ebony for my brush tip liquid liner. And my Tarina Tarantino I Dream Highlight Hyper Liner in Tommy Jet. This is the most amazing black pencil ever, ever, ever. Okay, so <laughs> I am super greasy because it is hot. And there, these lights are also making me hot. And uh, I'm gonna take me and my flushed face and my faded eyebrows and my kind of all this craziness. And I am going to make some tea and go to bed because it's been a rough day and I'm tired. And I'm just gonna end the vlog here. And this weekend, I'm probably gonna do a lot of filming. I need to do my Let's Get Jess Atlanta, like I said, and I have to really get some rest because I don't think I'm sounding that awesome. I feel like this whole week's vlog I've sounded really off. So I hope you enjoy this. Leave your comments down below. Like I said, I might get a new camera. I'm not sure, but uh, I will let you guys know and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.